Hello friends, today we will paint the Abomination Final Mini from Zombicide Invader Core Box. I actually have two Abominations. One is from the Core Box, the other one is from the Stretch Goals Box. I have primed both in black and I did a Zenith highlight with white ink on one of them because I originally wanted to do uh, them in uh, two different color schemes. But in the end I decided I will go with the same color scheme that I have used for the workers, uh, for both of them, to save the time and effort. Okay, so I am starting with a coal black base coat over both of the minis. I'll do a sort of zenithal approach, uh, where I will cover the whole mini except the absolute bottom. And since one of the minis was pre-highlighted, it will also allow you to see the effect of lighter undercoat on the upper layer of paint. Um, we used this technique when we were painting the tanks, remember? If not, check it out by clicking the link in the upper corner. And now you can see the difference between the base coats. The paint on the pre-highlighted mini is much more vibrant. But I'll do another layer of highlight in the next step, and that will basically kill any difference. For that, I have mixed some Ushapti bone into the coal black and applied it exclusively from the top. In the next step, I have undercoated the head, tentacles, and open bellies and some other details with braid bone. Because in the end, I want those parts to either be off-white or some other lighter and more vibrant color. And braid bone will serve as a good substrate for that. And this is how the minis look after this step. It's actually quite difficult to tell which one was pre-highlighted and which one was not. The belly part looks like one giant wound to me, so I decided to paint it red, along with the uh, tubes on the arms and uh, some other details. I also sprayed red into some of the shadows on the mini to enhance the color a little bit. For the tentacles, you guessed it, I'm using again my favorite magenta paint. This is the Warlord purple actually from Baleco, which is the same paint as uh, the a Warlock purple from GW. And you can see I'm going uh, much closer with the airbrush to have more control. Looking at the mini, at this point I decided that it needs some more visual interest. I wanted to keep the head white, but I wanted to add some more, um, more colors. Thinking about the wild birds, uh, wild exotic birds, I decided to use some magic blue from the Valaco game color range. And I sprayed uh, that uh, around the neck, um, on the bulges, on, on his body, and on the bases of the uh, tentacles. And that is airbrushing pretty much done. The only thing that I will do with an airbrush is that I will spray uh, the bases with black in the center and uh, this brown color uh, Vallejo Halloret uh, on the rims. And now it is time to do some washes. I mixed the usual uh, Caribou Crimson with Flesh Wash and I will be also using some pure uh, Violet Wash. All of these washes are from GW. I'll be using the Flesh slash Crimson Wash um, on the head uh, around uh, their mouth, uh, also on the crevices on the back and on all of the uh, red fleshy parts. The violet wash I will be using mostly on the tentacles. I will put it thicker on the bases of the tentacles and I will try to leave uh, the nice pink uh, tips untouched uh, with the wash. I'm also putting it uh, a little bit uh, further uh, up uh, his hand just to add some color variation. With the wash is dried I have just quickly dry brushed the hat um, in white to bring back the details and then I proceeded in painting the other details uh, on the mini. 
the little eyes I painted in yellow, the claws I painted in black, and I have also painted his um, actual eyes uh, in um, bright blue, just as I did in the other aliens. After varnishing the mini uh, using the mud varnish, I decided to do some uh, effects. I'm using uh, the gloss varnish uh, on his uh, claws. Um, the gloss coat on the black paint will add the shine and uh, it will make um, the blacks more black, if it makes sense. I'm also using uh, the blood for the blood go technical paint from uh, GW. On the wounded parts uh, in, um, in the mouth uh, of the alien uh, to add that blood and gory effect as well. It is important to do this after the matte varnish because you want uh, the shine uh, come through both on the gloss varnish and uh, on the blood red. I have added the blood also into the little fake uh, yellow eyes on his body. And that is everything pretty much done. I'm quite happy with the result. It was a quick paint, uh, but I really like it. Hope you like it too. If you do, give us that like. And uh, if you're interested, you can check out uh, the whole series on painting the Zombicide Invader, the core box. I'm linking it right here. Um, with that, I will see you next time. I'm going to paint uh, some more minis from Zombicide Invader uh, later. In the meantime, we have plenty of other content on our channel, check it out.